What's up guys? Thanks for clicking on this video. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and everybody needs to hit the like button. Leave me a comment and uh, send this to a friend so they can see my videos too. I want to apologize in advance because there is some construction going on behind me today. You might be able to see it through the windows so you get a little bit of extra entertainment with this video, but it's also causing some background noise. So hopefully that doesn't distract from what I'm saying too much because I have some important stuff to show you today. I went to Trader Joe's over the weekend. I don't go there very much, usually like a couple times a year probably. and. I got a bunch of really yummy stuff and I want to share it with you so if you're a Trader Joe's ho, you can try this stuff out too if you haven't already. Also, I want to know your Trader Joe recommendations because I'm kind of a Trader Joe's newbie. So put it in the comments and I will definitely try out whatever you recommend. Okay, so let's get into this. The very first thing I have to recommend is the Trader Joe's Mini Hold the Cone. They come in three different flavors. I guess they could come in more, but the three that I saw were chocolate vanilla and chocolate chip. I've always gotten chocolate chip. They're so good. They're pretty tiny cones, so you can just have one, um, and it kind of like satisfies your sweet tooth, but a serving size is three of these. So you could still have three and like, you know, still be eating the, the recommended amount. Three cones is 280 calories, and I mean, they're, they're small, but three of them together, that's a, a good size in my opinion. So these things are really nummy. I love them. The next thing I want to talk about is the banana chips. They're dried and they're super yummy. My cousin Sarah recommended them for me when I first moved out here. She took me to Trader Joe's because she was visiting and she made me get some of these. And I'm so glad she did because they're the best snack ever. They're really, really crunchy and they're sweet. So um, that's what I like about them. They are high in saturated fat, unfortunately, but I mean, it's better than a candy bar. Next up is the matcha green tea latte mix. I love this stuff because I have gotten really into matcha the past couple of years, who hasn't? Um, and this one tastes very good. It tastes like you're getting it from an actual coffee shop. So it's really thick and creamy. It's a pretty big serving size. It's five tablespoons is considered a serving and that's 220 calories. Sometimes I do that much. Otherwise, if I'm not wanting it super thick and creamy or super strong, I'll take like a third of that. But I really recommend this if you're into matcha. It saves you money from buying a matcha latte from a coffee shop because we all know how expensive that is. This one is a new one that I'm trying. It's the spicy chai tea latte mix. I've only tried it once um, since I bought this over the weekend and I wasn't a fan, but that was my own fault. I tried to have this like I do with the matcha and it was not enough flavor. This is also a really big serving size. It's one third cup, which just seemed like a lot to me. So I took half of that and it wasn't enough. So I'm sure it will be very yummy when I try it again with the actual recommended serving amount but I'm a sucker for chai tea lattes. The next thing I've already put into um, Snapware, so I threw away the packaging, I wasn't thinking, so I'll put it up here on the screen. And it's basically these hash brown patties and they're really filling. I Yesterday what I did is I took one of these, cooked it, put uh, cooked eggs on it, topped it with avocado, everything but the bagel seasoning, which you also can get from Trader Joe's, and some cherry tomatoes, and that was delightful. I would have that for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It was very good. Okay, so my friend Jordan had these in her freezer, and I tried them, and they were bomb, so I had to get them. Um, they come in both banana and strawberry, and they're called Gone Berry Crazy or Gone Bananas. So banana, strawberry, and it is... um not too sweet which is why i think i like it so much that's also why jordan pointed it out to me in the first place she was like you can eat, literally eat like one or two and it satisfies your sweet tooth like you don't want more than that and i can't back that up because i definitely had more than two in one sitting but i do get what she was saying like you have a serving of it and you're done like it's not one of those things where you like eat the whole package in one sitting and it's like five servings worth so this is four pieces of the banana for 100 calories, and this is six pieces of the strawberry for 100 calories. So that's a nice, sweet little snack 
as a big fan of these, they're already over halfway gone. So I'll be getting those again. I have yet to try this one, but it looked delightful. So I had to give it a go. It's blueberry lavender almond milk. So it's basically almond milk, but it's flavored to taste like blue blueberries um, and lavender. So very excited to try this. Actually, the whole point of this video was to show you my recommendation. So I'm gonna try it so you can decide if you wanna get it or not. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, smells blueberry. Interesting. It's good, but I wouldn't get it again. Um, I don't know how to describe it. I think when I want almond milk, I don't want it. I don't want it to taste like this, I guess. I mean, it, it will be good just like if I'm craving something sweet, I guess, but I don't know, I wouldn't get this again. It's a very cool concept though. And I am gonna finish off my cup. Okay, last two things are the alcohols. So Andy wanted to try this. It's the Boatswain Chocolate Stout. And I wanted to try the Ginger Beard Spiced Stout. So between the two, I liked the ginger one more because it does sort of taste like a gingerbread cookie, like the aftertaste of it. However, when I drank this, I was really hungry. Or when I, okay, I drank half of it and I was very hungry. And then I ate dinner and I went back to drink the other half of it and it didn't taste good to me anymore. <laughs> so maybe I just liked it because I was so hungry when I tried it. But I am a sucker for stouts, especially ones that taste like cookies and chocolate and all the yummy sugary things. This one was good. I wouldn't get it again though. I think Andy kind of felt the same, um, but it was so fun to try. I'm gonna show the packaging for each thing. This is for the ginger beard, and then this is for the chocolate stout. So again, definitely something to try once, but I probably won't get them again. I'm not gonna be like, we have to go to Trader Joe's to stock up on those beers. But yeah, that's how I feel about that, I guess. So that's my Trader Joe's haul. Again, let me know your recommendations because I'm sorta of new to Trader Joe's and I wanna know all the other yummy things that I need to try there. So tell me in the comments of this video what I need to try next time I go. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, pretty, pretty please. Leave me a comment and send this to a friend who also might enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.